Welcome. I want to thank Pastor Mike for asking me to fill in this week while he and his family are at Burning Man. I'm going to be preaching on a story we're all familiar with, the story of David and Goliath. It's a story we can turn to when we're facing our own giants. Maybe it's doubt. Maybe it's addiction. Maybe it's our own pride. But one thing we all get wrong about this story is it was not David who defeated Goliath. It was God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, um, if we turn to Samuel 1747, we find that David himself gives God the credit, saying the battle belongs to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lady, I'm trying to preach up here. L lady, my name is Evelyn. Oh, are you sure it's not Pastor Evelyn? Because you're talking more than I am. But I, I, I just felt the spirit. No, oh, I just felt the spirit. Man, now I know why Paul ordered women to shut up in church. Uh, uh, okay. As I was saying, like David, we sinners are capable of doing no good on our own except through the work of God in us. Hallelujah. This lady's got me feeling like Balaam in Numbers 22 up here. What does that mean? Well, I've got an ass that keeps talking. Pastor Mike lets me say hallelujah. Yeah, well, Pastor Mike ain't here this week. Maybe he puts up with your crap, but I don't. He just said ass and crap in church. Evelyn, be quiet. If the words aren't in bold in your bulletin, you don't have to say them. I think Evelyn might be drunk. No communion for her. I am not drunk. My husband was taken from the bottle. Oh, yeah, well, then why don't you come up here and talk about Goliath? You look like you're old enough to have met him. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think a Walmart is missing its greeter. I have been coming to this church for over th uh, That's enough, Grandma Moses. Ushers, get her out of here. What? I've no... No! No! <laughs> Jesus, forgive these men, Jesus. My hat. Hey, was anybody recording this? I am so putting this on TikTok. Hello and a request at Ahoy. Yes. Now for the news. The big story over the weekend is that comedian Russell Brand has been accused of sexual abuse and sexual assault over the seven-year period uh, during the highest point of his fame. His worst rape uh, was of the 1981 classic Arthur. Mm. Former WWE superstar is now going by the name Gabby Tuft after transitioning into a woman. Or as wrestling fans call it, a turning heels. <laughs> uh, Tuff's old wrestling moniker was Tyler Rex, which mm. she considers her dead name. A dead name, of course, is either a transgender person's birth name or most WWE alumni. 
<clears throat> yes. California lawmakers are projecting a uh, a ban on the candy Skittles as they feel the ingredients as like red dye number three are not good for consumption. If it's passed, the only place to taste the rainbow will be in a California Equinox steam room. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Equinox is, but uh... West Hollywood. Oh, West Hollywood. Oh, that makes more sense. It's a gay gym. I've never been. Oh, see, I just didn't know. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dave Landau. Welcome to Normal World. I'm Quarter Black Garrett. Welcome to Normal World as well. And Angela. Hi. What's up, Angela? Hey, I'm excited. It's good to have you here. Thanks. Along with Flawed and Mo. Hey. Welcome to Normal that. World. Oh, and if you want to see me this weekend, I'll be at the Wonders Theater in Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. Just want to throw that out there real quick. Oh. And more importantly, Lauren Bobert. The Boobert. Have you guys heard? Yes. Over the Bobert. weekend. Uh, is it Bobert? Bobert? The Bobes? Well, it, officially Bobert, but. Uh, Apparently she's going by Plan B now because <laughs> she's blowing <laughs> vape smoke in a pregnant woman's face. <laughs> Uh, Representative Lauren Bobert was removed from a Denver performance of Beetlejuice, the off, off, off Broadway performance of Beetlejuice. It was in Denver. Did yeah, you realize it's a Denver. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was in New York. I feel like Denver. It's almost okay that she was vaping. It's kind of the culture Colorado. there. Yeah. 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 She was. Uh, she was kicked out for causing a disturbance. Uh, the video from last week shows a uh, Bobart vaping. And uh, taking sl uh, flash selfies during the performance, while the two, uh, her and her date groped one another, leading to their removal. Let's take a look. A lot of uh, women's rights being uh, addressed tonight, and we're expecting to hear that from President Trump, uh, showing support for the dignity of every woman in America. That's what the concerned women for America uh, believe in, the dignity of a woman uh, that's under assault right now in America. So we're going to hear him uh, probably talk a lot, focus more on that in his first speech, and then travel... It, wave out, wave out, yes. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure to keep incognito. <laughs> yeah. She has since broken up with her date, uh, uh -huh. who was identified as 46-year-old Quinn Gallagher. Uh, that, of course, is Gallagher's brother. Gallagher 3. Yeah, Gallagher, <laughs> Gallagher owns Hooch Craft Cocktail Bar in Colorado. Uh, he was also reaching for the hooch through most of the play. <laughs> Why is that? The, the thing I'm most offended by is why is he grabbing him like he's never grabbed boobs before? Yeah, like it a, was a very weird. I think he was smash him like Gallagher watermelons. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Like he's, but it's almost like a like a, a, he's trying to turn a big radio. Yeah. With a big knob. <laughs> like, how do these go? <laughs> Which one of these? It's classic rock. <laughs> 80s, 90s, and today. <laughs> Lauren has apologized for her behavior at the theater, saying that she did uh, not live up to her values. Um, she, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Like, hey, they're they're living their best life. They're not. Uh, is she married though? Is this like uh, some well, she actually side hustle thing that's going on? Well, uh, no, no, no. She she was married, but the former, the former <laughs> husband, okay, has said that it's his fault because he cheated on her. So now she has to do crazy things like go to a Beetlejuice play and get felt up to feel anything. <laughs> okay. I mean, he didn't say it in those words, but that's what he meant. Yeah. That's what he meant by it? <laughs> I mean, I get it. She's vaping in the, in the theater, though. I don't like that. Yeah, the it's vaping was, was worse, I yeah. think. And it's not even like, a, oh, man, I got vape in my breath. I can't. Hmm. It's more of like the it's getting in the way of the performance, you know, the great yeah. Beetlejuice performance that you're seeing on stage. That's the thing is we're it living, interrupted. <laughs> we're living in a time where there's a Broadway play of Beetlejuice. <laughs> and we expect people to behave classy. Yeah. Do you know? yeah. It's like, yeah, we went to see Beetlejuice the play and we were shocked. Somebody was vaping. <laughs> no flash photography, no vaping and no honking. I just feel that <laughs> I can honk. I'm not really one to throw stones after what happened with us. Mm hmm. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm the ghost with the most. Dude. I can't believe 
this is a musical. Why would this be a thing? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm the ghost uh, of the uh, What's going on over here? Nothing. Uh, that's your penis. Get out of here. No, I don't, I don't Get no. both of you. No. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing. Can I have my refill? No. I want a refill. I want a refill. I want more popcorn on my penis. I want a refill. I want more popcorn. It says free refill. It says free refill. Fill it. Fill it up. Fill it up. Make eye contact with me while you fill it up. This is why Russell Brand is in trouble. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't know why you're laughing. It's not funny. It's I just no. serious. I just, just want to say I'm sorry. It's okay, man. I understand the play was it's actually pretty good. Yeah, and I went against my values, and um, I'll vote for you again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You know, we're human. Yeah. We make mistakes. Human mistakes. It was my cut the uh, hole in the bottom of popcorn. Put our yeah. penis through it. It happens to everybody. By accident. It was by my, accident. It was my ex-husband's fault. <laughs> yeah. Ever since he cheated on me, I have to do dirty things <laughs> to feel anything. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. anything at all. Yeah, I get it. It's yeah. tragic, man. I'm sorry, the, but I will say Beetlejuice was gold, not real gold like birch gold. <laughs> Vladimir Putin called the U.S. dollars drop, uh, you know, good for him. That's the way I'm going to put it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gold. It's okay. it, what's interesting though is it's not really hard to sell gold because it's gold. Yeah, gold's awesome. Yeah. People just, love gold. It's gold. Yeah. You should probably buy gold, saying as every single paper currency is just gonna eventually be worth exactly what it is. I went to the UK, their paper currency is not paper anymore, it's plastic, man. Don't it, trust it. Is it really? It's plastic. It's all just plastic? It's all plastic. I don't trust any of it. It's I don't all, trust any of that. It's all just gonna be that. Yeah. And the Birch Gold Group. They're busier than ever. You know why? Because it's gold. You're not gold. getting plastic. You're not getting paper. You're just going to go ahead and get gold. Precious metal. Yep. And that's why they have a tax-sheltered IRA. And if you want it, go ahead and text NORMAL to 989898. 989898. For your free info kit on gold. I don't know how much info they're going to send you. It's gold. They're going to so be like, hey, look. <laughs> it's gold. Uh, it's yeah. gold. <laughs> it's got an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. It's totally worth it. I actually did it. You should do it. Highly recommended, especially now, because I don't know about IRAs. I don't know about 401ks these days. I know I've had mm -hmm. them. I watched mine get collapsed. In the last <laughs> year but if you had gold, I, the gold did not drop. It wouldn't? No, many of my other investments did. Uh, yes. <laughs> I watched, boy. Like Beetlejuice. You made boy. some poor choices, though. I made, some, I made some poor choices in with my money in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> birch but gold wasn't a one of choice. Them. It's birch gold. That was not one. That was a. That's yeah. a guarantee. So anyway, is that silver? Do they have silver too? What? What? You it's can get not that. just birch gold. I didn't know birch. that. Oh, silver. Yeah. Silver. Hi. Birch gold. It's just metal. Dang. Silver's they precious. That. So go ahead. Text normal to ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight for your free info kit right now. Perfect. Can I like turn it into a chain since I'm a rapper? I don't see why not. I'm wearing my recovery chain. I noticed that earlier. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I thought that Watching was Illuminati. People. I know. I some people too. do think that. No, it's. it's <laughs> I uh, thought it was. You know, I, was, I didn't want to ask. No, no. It's for, it yeah, I'm just pointing. That's why I was dressed like really? a woman in the earlier sketch. <laughs> <laughs> finally, <your> initiation. <laughs> they finally got me. We're going to get thrown down a hill, all right? Uh, it's because we had to open my open a door with, with my head, and we just couldn't do that to that an elderly woman. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite part. <laughs> that was a part, like, in the movie Casino, where they open your door with your, someone's face. <laughs> we just wanted to do to an old woman in a church, and you just can't do that to an old woman. It was so nice. Yeah. <laughs> or throw her down a hill. What's funny is the we didn't know there was a all the kids in the school eating lunch when we shot that. <laughs> <laughs> and Just boy, they loved over. it. It was a full daycare. It was a <laughs> daycare full daycare. Awesome. Parents, <laughs> they loved it. Like, so what like the granny. We so I ended up. I took a bow and like took my hair piece off and I was like, <laughs> oh, it's a joke, guys. I didn't <laughs> I'm realize, a man. I'm not an old lady. Not realize that you that there were kids watching. Yeah, they were a really nice Perfect. church, though, and really, that was a really fun shoot. But yeah, did yeah. not know that we've <laughs> there's a bunch of people watching me get thrown down a hill. You make a beautiful old lady. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Thank you. That, Very good job. Yeah, in the script, though, that woman is dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, 
<laughs> she made me laugh. No, <laughs> dark. But not dark. I mean, it's just you can't you can't open the open a door with an old woman's head and throw it down a hill and and yeah, expect very her weak. Get, expect her to get back up. <laughs> he actually um, killed her in the yeah, stands, though, yeah in the I pews. Mean, he yeah. picked her up and threw her again too. Like it yeah. was extra. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Stepped on her head. Yeah. Stepped on her. My understanding is coyotes got to her because they just <laughs> left her. <there. laughs> weak. They have weak bones, like yeah. birds. They do With skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They do. They're very yeah. weak. They're, it tears like paper. Yeah. yeah. They bruise very easily. Mm. It's like carrots. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they said to us when we were like, hey, let's get a real old lady. <laughs> Break too <laughs> easy. They told us all the things we're saying just now. <laughs> when they say hug your grandma goodbye, they're like, just give her kind of a roundabout. <laughs> An air hug. Yeah. 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 More of a symbolic Hi. Yeah. Hug. <laughs> My <laughs> grandma. <laughs> I don't know what I'll see you again. Uh, probably Never. somewhere at the funeral. Mm. <laughs> probably, yeah. That's always fun. I'm not funeral. talking about you, Grant. Grant. No. I love you. No, my nan. My nan. She's lived, watching the show right now. My nan lived to be 95. Wow. Damn. Wow. 96. It's great. Yeah, she was great. Wow. I would sneak her out of the home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and get her like Cheddar Bay biscuits at oh. Red Lobster because nobody would take her. They're like, it's not healthy for her. I'm like, she's nine. Come on. <laughs> Let her have some fun. What's she going to do? Die in her 90s? <laughs> yeah. If I make it that long, I'm going all out. Yes. For sure. All the cheddar bays. I'm going to do meth. I'm about to say, I'm doing heroin. I'm doing heroin, going the hard right stuff. back. I'm doing figure drugs. You, technically, you're going to be on heroin anyway from the painkillers. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. just go, legal. Got to go the other way. Yeah. Fentanyl patches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be on plenty of fun drugs. You gotta, you gotta do the stuff that makes your ticker go. <laughs> Sliding in the mushrooms yeah. and LSD. Mm. Yeah, like I'm gonna do Nine yards. meth off a knife and drive a car. Yeah, that's have excitement when you're old, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Thumb and Louise. But I'll go to a track. Like I don't want to hurt anybody, but I'm like I want to race this Corvette. Yeah. dangerously yeah. high on drugs, and they're gonna be like, all right, go record ahead. it. Yeah, yeah. make a content. You gave us 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> this old guy wants to do it. <laughs> he's old. So we have to He let made him. it this far. Yeah. He seems to know what he's doing. Yeah, he made it. And he died of a heart attack getting into the car. <laughs> <laughs> the way he wanted. I think it's from the How meth. he wants to go. Yeah. <laughs> Just like his, that. his heart could not handle that line of meth. <laughs> Off the knife. <laughs> it's very. It's like a Rambo knife that I yeah. brought. Yeah, it's not like a pocket knife. It's a flaw. It's not even that heavy, but I'm so old. I'm carrying. It. <laughs> Put the meth on this knife. Yeah. How the crazy. hardest part is keeping it on the knife. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and then, it that's what the fuller's for. <laughs> and really, just, full of meth. I can barely breathe anyway, yet I think I'm just going to snort all that. Yeah, it's going to take a few <laughs> yeah. breaths. You're not going to get A couple of that. passes. Yeah, there's not one toot. <laughs> Y'all are wilding. <laughs> this is crazy. Russell Brand. A lot of yes. Allegedly raped four people. I, I don't want, I don't know if we're the ones that should be getting into the alleged part, though. That's true. We are not newsmen. Well, we're semi-newsmen. A little bit. Raped it's one, very, it's sexually serious. assaulted three. Sexually. That's right. Plus a fourth. What is the fourth one? It's more ambiguous. Dudley Moore. Okay. Very serious uh, accusations that we should we should probably I think, talk about. I think that it's more important. Like, yeah, I think that we should probably leave it to the professionals. Um, the, the accusations, well, you can explain this part. I think that's fine. Uh, the accusations were covered by uh, the UK's Sun-Times, The Times, and Channel 4's Dep- Dispatchers. Is that the... Uh, I, I think guess they're so. like an investigative portion of Channel Four. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, we actually, um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly what he's being charged with, and because it is a very serious thing uh, with sexual assault allegations, we are going to go live to somebody who can explain it with a bit of, uh, I don't know, more in a, in a more tasteful way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the ground is our British correspondent. Uh, please welcome Jeffy Handyworth. Are you, are you there, Jeffy? We'd like to ask about yes. Russell Brand. Yeah, hello? Jeffy. Jeffy, are you there? Oh, hello. Yes, Dave. Quarter black. Hi, Jeffy. Hey. You'd like yes. to ask about Russell Brand's yes, charges? Yes, me, Jeffy. Yes. Okay. Now, what Russell Brand is being accused of, not charged, accused, you see, okay. is four counts of uh, sexual misdeeds that include abuse, sexual assault, and rap. Now, 
Okay. All of the women who came forward, there were four of them. Four. So there's four. Okay. You're right. Yeah. And all four said that they were assaulted, but one was 16 at the mm. time. Not good. So that's that's about it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me. It's great reporting. Yeah. Thank I you. expect to be paid in chocolate. Of course. Yeah, as always. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That was uh, uh, Jeffy Handyworth. Yeah. Um, he is our normal world correspondent in England. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So. What do you guys think? About. Rape. Uh, bad. 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 In general. Every time. Yeah, it's bad. Very every, bad. Every, every if it's time? like possibly made up. <sighs> what did you say? Possibly made up. I think I'm going to have to side with uh, the people accusing so I could get some subscribers and stuff. <laughs> Is that traffic. what they do these get days? Some background, yeah. get some background. Get some engagement on X. Yeah. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's a slippery slope. I think like, you're just using that. No, it is. <laughs> what slope? I think you don't know what that means. Yeah, no, it is. It's like, because if you, you don't know really who you can believe these days. Yeah. Unless it's concrete in front of you, but everybody just goes with the one side. So who, I don't know. Can we put a it's, rape it's really apologist lower third by her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, it's hard. To, it's hard to tell. You know? <laughs> Completely kidding. I, I know. I, think, I, know. I think you're absolutely. I think that that's absolutely understandable. Yeah. I think you know, it's such an odd thing because any way you can discuss it, I think, and be honest, you're gonna sound yeah. a bit flip floppy yeah. because. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, it sounds like you got to read it like it's a bit of a report, but we should, you know, honestly, just having a conversation. Brand denied, obviously, all the claims of the misconduct. But let's mm -hmm. talk about it from what I know. Russell Brand in the beginning is a sex addict. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, he's been he's open about that. Very. He's, my book, very book is about it. He's been extremely honest about his recovery. Yeah. So let's, I'm going to put it like this. Like, let's say he is a, he is a sex addict. Uh, well, he is a sex addict. Uh, what if it, what if some of this did happen? What if there's a redeemable quality to this in the sense of, can somebody be redeemed for it? Can somebody change their life and start doing the more positive thing? Because the I way think so, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, like I'm not saying this. This obviously wasn't like a ski mask, knife to throat. I'm not saying that that's yeah. something that is different. Because yeah. you can't say anything now without 800 egg emojis that can hide behind something and tell right. you that that you know they can have yes. they can have their opinion. Yep. That's perfectly fine, but you can't actually have one. Mm -hmm. And I and I wonder, you know, when it comes to something like that, like. I, I don't want to just defend somebody because they've said something that's on our side right. or on our exactly. team. But, but the thing about Russell Brand is he is a guy who in the last few years has actually attempted to bring unity. Yep. And the thing about him to me, and I, and I wrote this down specifically, is it reminded me of something that Patrice O'Neill once said, which was uh, about Malcolm X, which was they were happy to let him, uh, you know, live when he was talking about killing white men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was also uh, like when Richard Nixon said, um, you know, the same people that got Kennedy got him, but a bullet would have been too obvious. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when you start seeing people that talk about unity or start bringing people together or people start reaching across the sides and stuff like this begins to happen, especially when it's done so many years later. Yeah. There is a reason to go, well, is this real? Is this something that we can depend on fully because now we have this whole victimhood culture where we go, okay, victim is such a strange word because uh, if you are a victim, somehow that's bad. Like you're like, oh, you're playing a victim. Well, maybe you are a victim. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. But then you're victim shaming, you're victim blaming, you're being the victim. Like we've used that, we've weaponized that word in such a horrible negative way in our society where we have catchphrases to basically disarm anybody who comes forward about anything yeah. or is defending themselves. Yeah. Well, and you said earlier, in as a person from the outside, I, I'm a fan of Russell Brand. I started recently watching a lot of his interviews and he's a really great uh, orator and he makes a lot of great vi videos, but that doesn't mean I know who he is or know what he's capable of. So then I don't want to just knee-jerk defend him. But then on the other hand, there, we've seen a lot of situations where women will retroactively remove consent in a situation where they possibly were, they liked this guy, they were actually going after him, yeah. they were trying to get some kind of fame out of it. We've seen those things happen. So it's hard when I don't see any actual evidence 
And that's something you need these days. Yeah. You need, I think you've always needed it, but we've seemed to have just well, kind of thrown that away. You need evidence to prove to ruin, like if you're going to ruin somebody's life. Well, yeah. speaking of. It's something more than text messages. One that, of them did sub do a rape kit on the same day and there is medical. Okay. So, I mean, that was, that's something. And he, he she has texts from him right after the incident, right yeah. after she had the rape kit that he was apologizing for it and things like that. So, I mean, in a situation like that, where we constantly are like, we always say like, well, why didn't this happen? Why, did, why yeah. didn't they do this? And well, it's like, even when that happens, you know, it kind of gets thrown away a little bit. Yeah. But that's the part too, where when you, I look at something like that, do you know if something's doctored, is it real? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, if that is a real rape kit, why weren't charges brought? How many people yep. knew about this? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to bring up this Comedy Central roast thing, uh, because it was an English Comedy Central thing where uh, three sources said Russell said, uh, if you guys have that uh, overlay, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it's it channel is. Channel four. Yeah. Uh, but three sources said um, roast battle judge uh, Catherine Ryan turned the heat on Brand a number of times during filming. Her allegations did not make the final edit. Brand finally vanished from uh, UK television screens after 2018, except for his uh, appearance on The Great Celebrity Bake Off. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back to bake. <laughs> no rape jokes when I make Crumpets. a cake. It's okay for comments. <laughs> but... It, you know, it, it, he was a, he was on Celebrity Roast Battle, but it, it only lasted a single season. And there were, you know, there were, he yeah. had assaulted several women. What I find so odd, too, about Roast Battles, and I just want to say that, too, is we were talking about it earlier, where you dig up these dirt, this dirt on other comics. And I always looked at these shows as something that was almost like it looked like a psyop for comedians, mm -hmm. where it was like comics who did like this late night hang, which was something I never had a lot of interest in, mainly because I just stopped. I was uh, I, sober, yeah. but yeah. it just seemed to dig up a lot of things and sort of blackmail each other and say things on camera that I don't know if should necessarily have been public knowledge. And it seems like this was that case where you're just throwing these things out there yeah. yep. that, you know, so obviously there was knowledge of it then, right? So right. if, if, if this happened on a comedy central roast battle and somebody brought it up, there was knowledge that he had, some sort of mm. past involving rape or sexual misdeeds, which rumors but, or something or someone yeah. talking about it. How, how we don't know the the relationship between these people. Did they have a conversation? Like there was text messages. Did he actually apologize? Was there like a meeting after that? Did they continue to hang mm -hmm. out? There's like, it's so like this inner relationship stuff is so complicated. And it's like, now it's all in the public eye. And you have, Why to not? Have a, you have to have a take on it. Yep. It's like, I, I don't want to make a take because I don't know what is true and what's exactly. not. Exactly. I just, I think. It's a weird timing though. That's that's the thing. Very. Why not go to the police? That's like my biggest thing. When people go to know. the media instead of police, I'm not, I don't want to hear it. I go to the media like 15 yeah. or however many years even, after. Even, little, yeah. even if it's before, if it's right after, if you go to the media, not the police, if at any point you go to the media instead of the police, Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I don't want nothing to do with I'm you. at least speculating. It's, I'm going innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. It has to be yeah, evidence the whole time, yeah. mm -hmm. There's no reason not to go to police. I Were you going to say, Angela? I was just going to say, I think it's like hard to like put yourself in that situation where it's like, I don't know, like honestly what I would do. Like there's plenty of people that I know that it's happened to that yeah. just wanted to bury it and didn't take it to police. And it's like, it doesn't mean that it didn't like affect, you know, it doesn't, but it does mean that you can't expect people to believe, to it, believe it. I get don't that. Go through the motions of doing it. Like I that's, get that. To but me, I think sometimes it's hard. Or was it's it a brutal rape? Yeah. I said, I've never met police. anybody who's been brutally yeah. raped well, and didn't I, go I, to the police immediately. I think th like, I don't know if there's like necessarily like levels to, I think there. Oh, there are. Well, I mean, I mean, if it was just like a a small rape, does that make it better? Go to police. You know what I mean? Because I women also like we know multiple women that, that lie. lie and go to the police about it. Mm -hmm. Like we've, I probably like on my two hands we yeah. can count. Like you know what I mean? Well, so it's it's definitely people. like you don't know. But I heard that this isn't even. There's no charges being yeah. brought. They're not. It's not like a criminal case. So it's literally just word of mouth. Poor women said something happened and now Russell Brand lost all of his money from his YouTube channel yep. because of behavior off platform. Great. That's that isn't even proven. They're they're stopping his uh his tour yep. 
because of this. His book. He has his a new book. book. Yep. So it's you can just say something happened. Yep. You don't have to prove it. You can just say, I have this rape kit. Like, where is it? I'm sorry, but I have to know that yes. before I can be like on your side. Yep. Yeah. It's it, again. It's a it's this a weird book is time to have sixteen it. and pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was the one. So I, I when I read the the reports on it, I was like, so the rape kit was a shocking one, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know if I believe that. Right. I don't know. The sixteen of... year old is like weird. It's it's legal yeah. in the UK, but it's gross. Yeah, it is. Gross. But he <laughs> has been open about that. I He's been open it about is in how Michigan he is. too. Trust me. Really? Is it? Uh. Anyway, so, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, I, I guess I don't know the levels of rape. What I mean by that is just more violence in the I sense, so, yeah. because there's also women that like violence is what I mean in the bedroom. So mm -hmm. sometimes I've known that that can be, Dude, I'm so glad I'm I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is to be uh, humiliated sexually, but, right. you know, that's not caused by myself, but it, it's like, <laughs> but to honestly feel that, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it's like to be, to humiliated be humiliated in that way. Yeah. yeah. To, so I don't know what the thought is i don't know the thought process of it yeah that's all i'm saying and i understand where you guys are coming from too but it's just like you know humans are complicated and sometimes yeah. it's just like mm -hmm. you absolutely know, but you there's can't no blanket justice. statement for yeah i get yeah i get where you're yeah. coming from i'm just devil's advocate over here well i think and i think <laughs> it is important too. to say that alice who claimed she was 16 at the time and was in a relationship with brand who was 31 at the time that is uh, yeah, that's uh, gross. Uh, that's Alice right. said she dated Brand for three months, during which she alleges that uh, he groomed her and told her how uh, to frame the relationship to her parents. In one sexual encounter, uh, at the end of their relationship, Alice and Brand sexually assaulted her uh, and shoved his... All right, this is oh everybody. Yeah. Um, he put him, yeah, in her mouth. I don't want to go into this. I didn't realize it was going to be this... Um, anyway, right. he did text her saying, uh, you know, I'm sorry... That was crazy and selfish. I hope you forgive me. I I know that you're a lovely person. Signed at X, uh, three twenty nine a.m. She uh, this was this Nadia person who had a rape kit done. Uh, you don't need to get tested. I will make this up to you somehow. Um, I think if somebody's a sex addict, by the way, get tested. Yeah, every yeah. Time. chance that you have HPV at that moment, which also condoms don't protect against, and you if you don't have a vaccine, is probably close to 100% at that point. Yep. Always mm -hmm. get tested if you have sex, probably with anybody you don't know. Yeah. Um, but especially in that case, if somebody has been with multiple partners, I would recommend it. Um, highly. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Um, but yeah, so there was, yeah, Angela's absolutely right. There was, there were these texts. What did the rape kids say? Does it say? If it um, came back as anything? Well, she went to the rape crisis center the same day. Uh, which I mean, look, that's the same as the police. The, the the in my opinion, that's doing the same thing. The the time uh, of London report. So yes, basically, you have somebody who's famous, possibly being protected by all these people. I've and, seen that. And then a girl saying, "This man raped me," who was famous. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, he was being covered up by somebody who, at that point, wasn't reaching across the aisle, wasn't doing these things on YouTube, wasn't outside of the culture yeah. of the mainstream. So you're looking at somebody. You've seen the BBC cover yeah. up other. Uh, Jimmy Sav Jimmy well, Savile is the biggest cover yeah. up in the history, in my opinion, of sexual. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I was just gonna say Matt McClowry, uh, writer for the show, had a really great point when we were talking about it, you know, off camera, and he was talking about both can exist at the same time. Like this has apparently kind of been like uh, an mm -hmm. open secret in the biz for mm -hmm. a while. You know, if if people like the le on the left choose to ignore certain things because it fits their agenda or whatever, and then the second that you kind of start to go against that, maybe that's why it's come out at this time. You have to wonder what the timing yeah, is. Yeah. But also, it doesn't discredit what these people are saying. Both can be true, mm -hmm. and you know, I think that's kind of where I stand. And you have it. the you have the opposite issue where somebody that says something that's you agree with, like Russell Brandy makes really great videos, right? Yeah. He's trying to fight against that that. Uh, cabal right yep. that doesn't mean that you just automatically offend, offend them right because possibly he may have raped four women absolutely so i don't want to defend somebody like that but it's so hard to tell these days with what is real yeah. and what isn't real and what the, the these text messages 
You could fake that stuff in Photoshop yeah. in two seconds. And so even if he was like know. saying sorry, it's sort of like when Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion, when he <sighs> called and said, I'm sorry, everybody just automatically was like, oh, he shot her because he said, I'm sorry. You don't, you know. Right. That, that could be, he, he could have been <clears throat> saying, I'm sorry for mm -hmm. any number of other things that he was inappropriate yeah. with. That's why I think. It should just automatically be if you don't go to prison. I mean, if you don't go to the cops, <laughs> leave it a, like people shouldn't even really like give a like he said, it should be you should be not down really the line. Either side because, yep. like, like right now, leave it. What's going to happen? Yeah. Are they going to go to court? Is he going to sue her for a sh sue them for defamation? Like he should. And then he just looks like a villain. It doesn't make him oh. look like he's innocent. If you're Danny Masters and you do 30 years, yeah. right? Yep. I mean, it's not impossible that charges can be brought yep. well, later. Um, depending, oh yeah, later. Yep. I mean, at the moment, you know, I don't know what can be, but that is the problem now is with him having everything taken away, regardless of if he's innocent, guilty, whatever. Mm -hmm. They do have the right, uh, because of controversy, to have somebody in their theaters, whoever wants to promote them, whatever that is, but to they there is a power in knowing that you can accuse somebody of something these days and they're instantly guilty yep. until proven innocent and then when they're proven innocent they still have the taint on them for the rest yes. of their life yep. and that is the goal and there are enough lizard brain people in in hollywood especially and in the world who look at somebody and just go what can i get from you yep. and yeah. what can i take from you 100 percent. and that's why it's it's very difficult but uh, to your point too i was talking to matt about this earlier we're so quick, and I think this is especially in politics, to look at somebody and go, well, they were my team jersey. Yep. So you're yeah. willing to overlook all this other bullshit that mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. just because they happen to side or agree on one thing that you happen to agree with. Yep. That yeah. You're willing to excuse all this other behavior and then just go, well, no, it, it, nobody's perfect. Everybody in here is guilty of something, is flawed. Everybody who's watching this is, a, you're literally flawed. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, but it's because you you take ownership though of the things that, you know, you've Straight done. Up. And, and yep. that's, that's, but that's rare. Yep. You and I were talking about that too. It's like when you're in front of a judge and yeah. humbling yourself and going to Changed jail. You. It, because you have to, humbling yourself in front of a judge and being in jail is the word. <laughs> yeah. Some people <laughs> have to. Do. But it's, I think, you know, I th and I think, that's the problem is now we're living in a time where there's so many people who know how to use that as a tool that we don't know who to believe anymore. Yeah. So he could have raped one person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could have raped. One of them could be real. 20 well, we're, people. Yes. We're seeing other stories coming out that he was inappropriate at some Channel 4 event thing. And it's like now it's the dog pile. Everything. Where yes. just everybody has, oh, I, I interacted I remember with him once. The, yeah. And I didn't like it. So now I can say my piece and I could be a part of this yeah. big thing I, and try to jump on him. Yeah. I can imagine a woman on earth has not had a man be inappropriate with them. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do it with is my anybody, wife all the time. Me too. I was going to say, has anybody in any woman here ever had a man not being appropriate? I mean. What do you mean? Uh, like <laughs> each individual man? <laughs> no, like it's happened. The guys it's are. definitely happened. Men are Like pig. one time. Yeah. Men are pigs though. Like is what I'm saying. Like yeah. there's certainly a, 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 a goalpost move of Absolutely. like, of, yep. of, I mean, men. If you like them. Be inappropriate. I'm not talking about rape. No. I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. are you though? Talking I thought you were asking it. about like every individual Man, at I bet, some point. No, I bet every woman has been. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dave every man is known today. Every woman has been a, a probably groped, groped, or Uberted. unwanted, mm -hmm. advanced, yep. or whatever. And I don't oh, think definitely. that's. I don't know. I don't know if that's the same. You know, I mean, they're they're sort of putting it all in the same wheelhouse yeah. now, as if it is. But I mean, Ridiculous, I, I think, think if if she says no and then you continue, that's. But it is. But then there would be no people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like if, it's, if it's a force. It's kind of a woman's you job just to say no. It is. <laughs> like women are, are yeah. the gatekeepers of. Yep. I didn't really reveal my hand. I, I mean, that's they act really like they're the, not. I, I mean, that's that's sex anytime. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I got a headache. It's, it's no, and it's <laughs> please. <laughs> It'll only take gonna a try minute. It. Like, okay, on. wait till you go to sleep. I'm just going to try this real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the other part, too. Yeah. I'll wait till you nod off. That'll yeah. never be brought up. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer it. <laughs> yeah. Just get it over with, you know. Like, <laughs> you're like, that's fine. Just like it's slide yeah. <laughs> you're just drinking NyQuil. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah, like, it's fine. I'll be... I'll be over here. Oh my god! No, I, I just no. I mean, but there's certainly a pursuit. I think that you would, do, if you like somebody, you might ask more than once. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
I've never hit on anybody at a bar like that. I've never been in a relationship where I've, I've been a monogamous person. So I've never been in a relationship where that's, I've ever been in that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank God I've been married for so long. And I was dude, way I'm so before all of this married garbage. on the road. I don't never, uh, not a philanderer. I just, that's why I'm just glad I'm not. Sounds like a nightmare. Just dangerous to, today. When I saw you video of you people. in a theater earlier today. For real. First of all, I only do it with men. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't count. Yeah. And I, See, that doesn't count. I like the feel of popcorn. <laughs> it's buttery. The you greasy butter. buttery is. It's butter flavoring. I prefer it dry. There you are. <laughs> it's never going away. Salty. It's funny if that makes the news. <laughs> yeah, right? Man thrown out of Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice again? Pricing. What is going on in these Beetlejuice <laughs> yeah. showings? Why are these right-wing commentators? It's a very exotic... Oh, trying to get their rocks off. I don't know. Yeah. Have you seen Musical. the show? I, it's erotica. This, I was taken by the spirit. <laughs> Ghost. Oh, oh, I sprayed Beetlejuice. Raising up. <laughs> I sprayed <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> Go up what? a wall. <laughs> Dying over there. Sorry. I, think that's so I, don't, I don't have enough. I've never had a, well, I guess I have a little game, but I've never had enough game to be in a room with somebody to... I just wouldn't have the confidence. To, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. In a theater? No. To, I, why would you grope? I just wouldn't grope somebody. I feel rude. I never groped anybody grade. in a theater. I think it's like ki- like <laughs> grade, I did that. kids. I think a lot of kids that. do that shit. I never did it even did it? in high school. Not even like in high school like, and stuff. Really? Like people. Maybe in high school I groped a couple. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come did. on. Yeah. yeah. No one else's yeah. wife is here to like. Say that they were doing other shit with other. No, guys. I'm saying like it's a, it's I not a girl. It's not like an adult thing, maybe yeah. to do. Yeah, but I'm hearing my girl say this to me. That no, she I'm not. This <laughs> I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying like it's a non broken up. Thing. <laughs> I feel gross. Adult thing I don't know. Well, yeah, like when was the last time you actually went you guys to the theater? Each other? Yeah. See, do you grab him inappropriately? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Me too. Over the pants. Me too. That's my point. Is women are also wait recently. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, like, at our house, lock her okay, up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, at home. Like, just mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah at your house. house. She's like, she's theater. crazy about her husband. Like on Instagram, like, it's a nice good. thing to I see. Like, like it's yeah, at home, it's. <laughs> It's a different gonna, story. The show you are, up, though. You're, yeah. you're like a very happily married person. Yeah, so yeah. to Garrett's uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Garrett's uncle. I'm glad we're in the same family. It's great. Mo thought it was really uh, Yeah, I asked him last time we were down here. I was like, is that real? I was like, no. I don't think so. <laughs> close. Hey, it could it could definitely I mean, be. Yeah, we've groped each other and stuff. It's like, it's just a matter of like, it's you know, just not, I don't know. It's a scenario it, that you're just in. Just public displays of affection has never really been our jam. I agree. She tries to hold my hand and do all this weird. Mm-mm. You you I show other faster. displays of affection. Like you, it's like yeah, it's like pulling my hair and stuff. <laughs> like, like a yeah, pulling. like it's a different kindergartner. It's a different <laughs> like, affection. It's, uh, it's just dry humping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. Yeah, it's I mean, it worked. I got her. I mean, there's got there's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a completely different conversation. <laughs> yeah, this has gone way off the. This road. is almost yeah. nice now. I, I look. I'll say. I don't know. I don't know if we should keep going on. It. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go back. I will the say. Round. There's not enough info, in my opinion. I, yeah. We'll see how it plays out. Um, I personally, I honestly, 15 years ago, I found him to be absolutely insufferable. Me yes, too. I agree, thought his agree. comedy was absolute trash. Yep. And I think that uh, what he's done in the last few years with reaching across and the interviews he's had and stuff, mm-hmm. I've really enjoyed. And I personally hope it's not true, but like you've all said, both can be true. Yep. So I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. We'll see. That's just the logical way to think about it. Yep. And, and I would, we're on the internet, so uh, I don't know, burn him or yeah. don't burn him. I don't, <laughs> well, I would whichever highly, way it makes you feel better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but highly encourage you to think for yourself and not yeah. just go. Well, he, he I believe him because he said that. Just yeah, absolutely. And I highly encourage you not to just destroy somebody or whatever yes. because right. or whatever you do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> destroy <laughs> everybody right behind what a cat it. emoji and Love be a and empathy yeah. towards each other. Yeah, That's try just, to be a decent person yeah. for a day. Put yourself in someone's shoes. Yeah. Right. Which no I one think will that's do. The problem, Try to be your, yourself in put yourself else. in Russell Brand's shoes. Like, what would, like... Me? Why would you put it on me? <laughs> Not like you personally, but like, the well, people just, who are going know. against everything. I, mean, I just, I, I don't even like Russell Brand. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan at I all. respect it, like but the... I will defend... Right and like, wrong? Yeah, I'll defend right and wrong. What I think is right and what I think is wrong. And if Absolutely. You know, if you go to the media, I just don't want to hear it. That's just how I think, mm-hmm. because it's... 
cut and dry for me. Go to the police. I would. And if I you mean, get him fine. Get him to the Greek. I would rather just do oh, Greek. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> there was a movie called Get Him to the Greek. That was his, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah it was, oh, wait, Puff Daddy. I remember now. Yeah, I would rather. That's how you connect to him. <laughs> yeah. I, I say the rapper. Like, of course you remember. Is. I would rather have him stuff my face than sit through that movie. Yeah. I heard it was good on Twitter. Oh, it wasn't. Forgetting Cheryl Marshall also. He was in- Fire. I that was, that, that was a good one. I died at that one. He that one was, you know what, he was good in that. Mm-hmm. He's the same character. Yeah. He's life. Russell Brand. Yeah. They're literally character. the same yeah. character. Yeah. I did I like, like his books, though, and he wrote one of the best books ever on yes. recovery, and I'm going to stand by that. Really? Yes. Really? What's yeah. it called? Uh, recovery. It's just recovery. Really? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, I used to give it to my sponsees, because it's like uh, the AA book. But oh, like, I got to read mod- it. Yeah, it's like a yeah. modern. Mm. It's really cool. He basically updates. It's like Bob and... Bill. Bill, uh, both Dr. Bob and, and Bill both met at dis- Bill W. Met at, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I like how, I like how I kept it anonymous. <laughs> met at uh, Detroit Receiving Hospital and then went to Ohio and then started AA. And the book is very, it's a, it's a, it's, it's dense and a little okay. bit archaic. And he wrote it out so he kind of explains the 12 steps and how to, what they mean and how to utilize them and, kind of what every bit of recovery is in a more modern fashion and okay. he did it in the most fantastic way I've ever seen oh, I gotta read explain it. recovery. He's good at talking. And it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Even for people that aren't like in the program or struggle with alcohol, he talks about like phone addictions. There's all these different addictions yep. that we have in like modern day life mm-hmm. and it's just mm-hmm. like you know, everybody struggles with some form of addiction or another and it's just it's a great resource. So yeah. I like how I just tried to keep the founder of AA anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> I think people you know. Keep it. I'm like, it's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of Norm Macdonald's joke. Like, I don't want him to know my last name, but I blew a dog for a pint of gin. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the UK, uh, before we get to our final question of the night at the end of the world, you can see me at the Leicester, Leicester Square Theatre in the UK. Leicester. Leicester. They no. name weird. They, they name their stuff weird over there. Yeah, they They're do it. Yeah, English. they spell it all weird, but then they're like, it's pronounced. Leicester? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's like Leicester. Like Worcestershire. They're throwing all these letters in there. You don't need them. You're making a milkshake. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> it's a silly place. But I'll be there uh, March 23rd. And then you can also. Dallas next Wednesday, yeah. yes. 27th. We're all going to be there. Come out to the show. Come on. We'll do a little QA at the end. You can ask us anything. Um, yeah, come out. We're coming. Yeah, are you coming you're for real? Go- yeah, we're here, I think. Yeah, that's right. You're here yeah. on, on Thursday. Yeah. Well, we'll oh, come the night before. Yep. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Yay. You can come to the Why would the you show not see sh- all of us? Come to Dallas. It's hyenas. Dallas, come to the show. Let's do it. Do it. You- I- I'm going to be there. I w- you said you would. <laughs> I- Better be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you weren't nice. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, 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 I'm going <laughs> to upload the show and then, uh, I mean, we're, yeah. And come on over. Make your way. I'm uh, going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dave, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> just, be there. He keeps looking at me like that. His favorite. Did my special and she left after about. doing my makeup. That's not true. I stayed and totally smoked cigarettes true. outside. <laughs> I was there. Okay. Same she thing. flicked it at me. She said, go do your little routine. <laughs> Where can we see uh, see you, darling? Oh, uh, I'm going to be on Friday Night Tights, as always, on the Nerdrotic channel on Fridays. I don't know if you got that. And on my channel on Sundays, and also Forbidden Frontier. You know how we were talking about aliens and such last week? Well, we're going to talk about them again on Sunday. Oh. So that's on Nerdrotic Live. Claude, where are going to find you? Uh, Other than here next Thursday. Yes, I'm here all the time. Mm-hmm. Like reoccurring. I like it's it. just a reason to, for me to get you guys up here. <laughs> yeah. We can hang out. But we enjoy it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we stream, we live stream on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Rumble at 5 p.m. Central. Rumble.com slash Flawed TV. I also am on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Flawed TV. I'm Holy Moly. Uh, M-E-A-U-X-L-Y on everything. Twitter. YouTube, yeah, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah. See, they got it wrong on the lower third. It's M A E. No, it's M E A. M E A. Oh, it was the other way. I wrote I wrote it the other way. And, and you I said, said it was you wrong. were wrong. Yeah, because he said write it wrong, remember? And you I thought you did it on purpose. I thought you did too. <laughs> so I was like, it is wrong. I thought I you did you do it. <laughs> now we bring you <laughs> the end of the world. <laughs> We 
We close tonight with a very important question. Is it Lauren Boebert's husband's fault she's such a whore? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think, yeah. Yes. Good night.